Well, hello, my name is Rick Reese. Welcome to Better World Changers, Marketplace Ministry. And uh, we actually are a life group of my church, Church for All Nations, Pastor Mark and Linda Coward. I love my pastor because he says, this is outreach. We're gonna have more people participating in our life groups than we have attending the church. And it's a re reaching out to uh, the world, the lost and dying world. Well, marketplace ministry is huge. And I'm gonna be uh, sharing with you briefly about change agent. Are you a cultural change agent? One who is positively impacting the status quo uh, with your gifts, your talents, your knowledges and your skills. Now, I believe that the greatest teacher in life is life itself and the things that we grow through. I've been on this journey, uh, just experiencing life as a marketplace minister since about 2003. And I've been documenting, as the Lord has told me to do, to document what I learned. I'm a pathfinder for the way maker. God always makes a way. You know, it's interesting though, and I know uh, those who are watching me now, you can, you can relate to this, when you put yourself in situations as directed by the Lord, which seem to be almost impossible and people in their right mind may not put themselves in those situations, or you may find yourself in a situation, keep a journal and document it. And the reason you document it is for someone else. The experiences and the changes that God takes us through, it's just training folks. And it's for someone else that God is trying to reach. You're gonna make it. You know, the training is not into death. You're gonna make it, but we're gonna be talking briefly about being a change agent. Now, I find it very, very interesting to be a change agent as a marketplace minister, because typically we have no money and the money belongs to us. And I believe as marketplace ministers, we're out in the marketplace with your specific business. God will multiply it and he will tremendously bless you for I believe three things in particular, personal freedom, to be freed up to do what he's called you to do. Global missions to spread the gospel, his gospel, around the world and community building as a change agent to make a difference in our communities. And imagine, imagine God using your business to create a pipeline of wealth that flows from the world system to fund his work. That's his responsibility. Are you taking it on it like it's yours and you're pulling your hair out? You see mine is art. And, and you're having uh, breakdowns and stress sessions and wondering, how do you do this? I want you to try something. Try turning it over to the Lord. Say, Father, you have called me to do a specific work at this specific time. And you've given me a business. I don't care what business it is. Father, multiply it. Hold it up to him like, like the 12 loaves and the fishes. Father, multiply this so that I can be freed up to do what you've called me to do, so I can go into the communities and make a difference, so I can spread your gospel around the world, and as a change agent, that I can change the status quo, that I can use my passion, the passion that you've given me, to make a difference in this world. Ladies and gentlemen, we're on to something big. And so... The lessons of life, I believe, are the greatest lessons. And, uh, and briefly here, that's what I'm going to share with you. Now, I have a website, as you heard me mention, since 2003, I have specifically been walking this walk and documenting it. So I have a website, betterworldchangers.com. And the purpose of this is to point you to that website so you can go back and you can study it like it's a college course download materials. I've got presentations on there. And, uh, and we're talking 
everything personal freedom, community building, global missions in the context of serious spiritual warfare. There are spiritual warfare prayers that you can download. And so I believe that it's important to lay a foundation. If you are a change agent, it's so important that you lay a solid foundation that you don't just throw yourself out there or you'll find, here's what'll happen. If you just throw yourself out there unprepared, you'll find yourself struggling to survive. Your money supply will be shut off, especially if you're effective. You'll be out there, you may be making things happen and all of a sudden you're fighting for survival. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's intentional. One of the things that you'll find as a resource on the site, seven mountains, the seven mountains of cultural influence. Wealth transfers from the business mountain to fund the other six. My mountain is government. My mountain is community. I'm in the travel business. I use the travel wealth to transfer from the business mountain to free me up to do what I'm called to do on the mountain of community, mountain of government. What is your assigned mountain? And so let's go to the website because this is the foundation that you need to know, I believe, before you throw yourself out there, uh, you'll find that this is spiritual warfare at the highest levels. And so let's go to the website very briefly here, just real quick. And I'm not gonna spend a lot of time uh, before you here, but I do want to uh, make sure that I provide you at least the focus and the direction that I believe is definitely necessary to get you off to a, a solid start. This is a time for marketplace ministers to come together. And I believe this is an international movement for one purpose, and that is to turn the Great Commission into the Great Completion in our lifetime. I'm assigned to the wealth transfer. I transfer wealth in his name to do what he's called me to do for the building of the kingdom. Now, if you're just out there, you got to tie what you're doing to a higher cause. So, but let's take a look here. And so I talk about laying a foundation. Okay, this is a, this is a foundation. And uh, let me make sure here that we're on the right page here. Let me share that with you. Okay, so betterworldchangers.com to lay the foundation before we talk specifically about being a change agent, begin here. And I want you to come here. And again, this is Better World Changers. It's an international marketplace ministry life group. We actually do a spiritual call every Monday, but I'm gonna scroll down. Our purpose as mentioned, fulfill the great commission in our lifetime to turn that into the great completion. It's all about winning the lost ladies and gentlemen, at any cost. It's open to business owners, entrepreneurs, salespeople, inventors, and we're out to just take territory, folks. And I believe you need money to do it, otherwise you're just talking. And the goal is, of course, to fulfill the Great Commission. And uh, the let's get started, go out, get you a composition notebook, and you can go come back to this tab, begin here, and it's going to walk you through three things that are critical to laying a good foundation. The first, why are you here? What's your call? What's your purpose? God has a specific reason he brought you here. And that passion, a lot of times, is locked up on the inside. We're calling that passion. We're calling that gift. We're calling your purpose forward. And this will walk you through some, I believe, some good steps in, to identify that. And then secondly, what is your assigned mountain? Rick, is it Mount Everest? No, 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 no. The seven mountains of cultural influence. This will teach you what those are. I'm assigned to the mountain of government. What's your mountain? Here's what I know. There's the mountain of business. My business taps wealth from the business mountain that creates a pipeline that frees me up. I haven't gone back to work since 2005. 
I wanted to walk this out specifically just to see. And if he'll do it for me, he'll do it for you in your business. Then thirdly, what is the image of your marketplace success? See, this is your spiritual authority, an understanding of the mountain you're being trained to climb and your marketplace authority. Once you have this impact it down pat, no devil from hell can move you to the right nor the left. So once you've got this, now we're talking about being a change agent. Yeah, Rick, I want to make a difference. I want to make a difference in my community. Okay, well, let's talk about that real quick and then we'll wrap up. Again, I'm just pointing you to the site here, pointing you to the information. This is a site with a plethora of information. Lessons learned, greatest lessons you can learn are those from life. And the Lord just basically had me write it down. So I'm going to scroll down here. Being a cultural change agent in a season of change. And you, you see the mountains there, the mountains of arts, sports and entertainment, the mountain of business, wealth transfers from the business mountain to fund the other six, the mountain of education, the mountain of family, government, media, religion. What mountain are you assigned to climb? What mountain are you being trained to climb? Well, what is a change agent? Someone, something that has a passion to impact the status quo. You are a catalyst. You have been put here for a reason, fueled by passion to inspire others, to bring them together, to engage that passion, to be the one who makes a difference. Okay, well, here's what I wanna talk about real quick. There are six stages that God takes his change agents through. And as I go through this, we'll go into a little more detail, not much, because I want you to come back here. There's a couple of presentations you can download. What stage are you in? Now, if you've been around for a while, I can kind of guess, but what stage God takes all of his leaders, whether it's Joseph, whether it's Jesus, he takes all of his leaders through these six stages, recruitment, character, isolation, the cross, bringing you back to the cross, problem solving, what's that problem you're assigned to, to solve, and then building networks around you, his responsibility, you know, how, you know, the disciples, they showed up, no, they didn't just show up, God put them in place, what networks are, is he putting around you, so what stage are you in, of these six stages as God is preparing you to launch you as his change agent, his agent of change for such a time as now. The first one, you're past this, but if, you never know where you are. But as leaders, we need to know this recruitment. And this is just practical work experience. God using your practical work experience to prepare you for your assignment. Secondly, character development. Oh, Lord, I'm going to die. No, we're being trained. There's things that are within us that can't not go to the next level. God takes change agents through a series, series of character tests. Think about Joseph. Think about all the different uh, leaders, David, that went through the character test, these six stages. How about the third stage, isolation? I'm all alone. There's no one else. And all God wants you to do is look up and live. Keep your eyes stayed on him. We've all been in that period of isolation. You may be there now. No one can pull you out. This is a place. This is the time for you to get close to the Lord, to develop prayer habits, to develop a habit of reading your word, a habit of talking to God to get information and blocking out the world. If you right now are in a period of isolation, receive it, accept it. Don't run from it, don't be a Jonah. Receive it and accept it. How about the fourth stage, personal cross, where God brings a change agent to experience his personal cross. He brings you back to that place of your first love where you have fallen in love with him I tell you, you know, and we, you know, that feeling of when he brings you back to that place, like I'm with you, you know, you're mine. 
I'm yours. We're in this together. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I'm here. That's a nice place to be. And then once you're there, and once you have that confidence and you know that you know that he's got you, he's holding you tight and he won't let you go. You can trust him with everything. You can release everything to receive and get whatever it is you need. Then step five, influence. Now you're ready. Think about it. You're in business right now and your business is solving a specific problem. Now you are the change agent to solve a problem. And it may be, Father, bless this business while I solve this cultural community problem. Mine is in the community. Mine is in the culture. And the business supports me to be freed up to do that. But what is that problem through invention, through entrepreneurship, that will provide a solution for people to create wealth that frees you up to do what God has called you to do? And then step six, networks. And think about all of God's great leaders that have gone through these six stages. When you get a chance, make that a study and look at each one of his leaders. And I guarantee you, you'll see these six steps. And then networks. Change happens when people come together, when those change agents band together. What is that core group? People are looking for you right now. Where are you? Are you letting your business be known? Are you letting it be known that, Father, count me in. I am a cultural change agent. Let people know. Voice what you're doing. Voice while you're here. Why you're here. Walk in your purpose. Walk in your gift. Those who will see you will say, hey, I want to join up with you. Are you visible or are you invisible? Now, there's a time to be invisible. But when God starts calling you forth, and you know that time because there'll be fear that I don't want to come out and do this. I want to stay in the closet. I want to stay hidden. And he's saying, no, 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 no. I need your light. I need your light to shine. In fact, it's his light. I need you to allow me to use you to reach a lost and dying world. And when you do, he'll start building networks around you. You can't do that in a closet. You can't do that hidden under a bush. He's saying, it's now it's time. Now, if you're a change agent and you're listening to me and this is making sense, I'm telling you right now, God is calling you forth for such a time as now. By name, by name, he's calling you forth. By heart, by heart, he's calling you forth for such a time as now. Get involved get engaged. You can't do it on your own, but I'm telling you what I know. When you take a step towards him, he will run to you. And all the people that will find you, if you're trying to build your business without an association to him or the problem, it's not going to work. You're building it in the flesh. When you turn it over in the spirit, watch what happens. Now, I want to just amplify this a little bit, and we're going to be wrapping up here. Character development is huge. And I want you to really think about this. And I pray about this myself. If you haven't gained victory over Satan's traps of performance, passion, position, possessions, before God elevates you as a change agent into a leadership role, the enemy will eat your lunch. <laughs> you will be easy prey for the enemy. Many leaders integrity, we've seen this out there, is not strong enough to keep them at the top of the mountain once God releases prosperity, fame, and prestige. You know, if you, your character has to, to be able to sustain you where God takes you. Whatever God sets you free from now, as he delivers you from whatever it is, I want you to think about this. As he delivers you from whatever it is, he automatically gives you an anointing to set other people free from the very thing that you were a victim of. Everything is training, everything is training. Now I want you to download a couple of these presentations, great information that goes into a lot more detail on these six steps and, uh, and the leaders that God has taken through these six steps. The first one, and these are by Oz Hillman, who is an, an amazing man of God. 
that is part of and leading the Seven Mountains movement. Uh, God's change agent presentation and becoming a change agent. And he talks about the six phases of development. Download these presentations and go through them. And before we close, we're gonna actually take a quick look at uh, some information on one of them and then we'll wrap up. Okay, this is one of his presentations that you can download. You are in a fight. This is spiritual warfare. You, you, you can't say it doesn't exist. You are in the midst of it. The greater the influence of the cultural mountain that you are assigned to climb, the greater the warfare. If you have some significant adversity coming at you, know that you're being trained because God has a significant purpose that he's launching you for. Don't get caught up in the adversity. Understand that it's just training. You know, understand that if you can relax in it, understand that if you can say, Father, show me which way to go. It is so dark that I can't even see, that I can't read the word if you can't see because the light is so dim. Read the word, understand, ask him for direction specifically. I know I was at a point as he was taking me through this where it was just so dark. I had to actually read prayers to pray. It was so dark. If you come to that place where I can't even think to pray, write out prayers, read it to yourself. If you can't think, just read prayers, find scriptures, dig into the word. It's not unto death, it's unto training. He's preparing you for something big. He's preparing you for something big receive and say, Father, I know that you're preparing me for something big because the battle is so tough. It's so hard. I'm going through so much. And he's like, I got you though. I'm just preparing you. Can you rest in me in the midst of the war? Can you rest? You know, you got shots slinging by your head, you got arrows over here and cannons over there. Is it possible for you to rest? When you see that light coming at you, know that it's not a train. And even if it is in the place that God has you, it'll go right through you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you what I know. Lauren Cunningham, he says, use your authority during this time and you'll lose your influence. This is the time to influence people. Use your influence to gain authority. Don't just get out there. Ah. No, use your influence, help people, support people. And we'll wrap up with this, 10 success strategies for cultural change. Now you can download these presentations. I have them on the website. So go to the website and download them. I'm just skipping to a couple of slides, 10 strategies. First, of course, we must humble ourselves and pray and repent, turn from our wicked ways and he'll forgive our sins and he'll heal our land. Secondly, 10 strategies for cultural change, personal transformation. Come here and, and go to that begin here tab. I believe if you're gonna put yourself in a fight, you wanna be prepared. And, uh, and that's a strong foundation, being able to have walk in your spiritual authority and understanding of the mountain that you're assigned to climb and your marketplace authority have that in place, download those spiritual warfare prayers, and you are ready to go. Biblical, we need a biblical theology of work taught in our church. Educate uh, the next generation. And my good buddy in the Dominican Republic is doing that, Pablo. Um, he's doing that, Nelson's doing that. He's educating the next generation on the seven mountain careers and how to climb and what the seven mountains are. Serve the community by solving problems through the church in the city. Most churches are in irrelevant to the communities they reside. They have the fortress. No, we're saying let's get into the community. Let's serve on boards. Let's serve on commissions. Let's get in front, up front, you know, before the laws are passed. You know, let's get engaged in our community. Let's go into the hard places. This is what we need. And I just love it because when you understand marketplace ministry and creating pipelines of wealth 
with your business that free you up to personally spend that time because you're not tied up on a job and personally be able to create that wealth that flows to make diff change in the community, irresistible influence and resistible influence. And of course, spreading the gospel around the world. It's time, it's time. Number six, develop a seven mountains influencer strategies, raise up people. And I love this uh, with my buddy out in the Dominican Republic, Nelson, he's raising up young people to get involved in key positions. We need adults, we need people of talent and skills to get engaged and involved in our community as a strategy, as a strategy with an understanding. The purpose of this presentation is to raise your awareness, to be prepared, and then as a change agent to go in with both guns blaring in the name of the Lord. And then the seventh, be part of a network I really do believe this. Pray for the Lord to identify and to build that network around you, to identify the people that you are assigned to and that are whom are assigned to you and to build that core network around you. Eight, support worthy organizations and initiatives. That's all part of bringing them together have conferences and training specifically casting the vision of change, the vision of seven mountains, bringing that together so that we are intentional. And I really do believe this, preparing people with the foundation. What is your purpose? What is your calling? Walk out your spiritual authority. What mountain are you being assigned to climb to? It's assigned to climb. It's not into death. Accept the training, accept it. You say, Father, okay, okay, I must be in getting ready to get into something really big because these trials are really big, but accept it. Father, give me strength. And then your marketplace authority, what has he shown you that he's going to do for you? And we have conferences and we have trainings that will cast this vision. And then, of course, engaging the culture through dialogue and, of course, prayer. I'm going to be talking over the next couple of weeks. We'll talk about establishing a personal prayer altar. And the tribes of Israel, of course, the high priest carried the 12 tribes on his breastplate and he offered them and prayed and strengthened them up to the Lord. And right now we're in the process of reclaiming the mountains, the seven mountains. So I love this. This is what I live for, folks. You know, I've gone through some life experiences. Again, I am a pathfinder for the way maker. And I document what he teaches me, he shows me. Betterworldchangers.com. It's our time. Marketplace ministers working with our pastors. We've gone out into the marketplace with the spirit of Joshua and Caleb to slay those giants and to bring back the luscious grapes for the funding of the kingdom, working with our pastors. We have a function. You know, we are not outside of the church. We are within the church. And I'll close with this. I live for the day, <laughs> and I know that it will happen, where the pastors recognize the marketplace ministers in their congregation. And I want to see this happen. If you're a pastor looking and watching this, I want to see the pastor say, raise your hand if you have a business, if you're a business owner, an entrepreneur, an inventor, a salesperson. Watch how many hands go up. Okay, I want you to come forward. Come forward. Yes, come forward. Hurry up. Get up here. Come forward. Okay, congregation, stretch your hands toward them. We're going to pray for them. We're going to anoint them. We're going to encourage them that when they go out these here doors into the marketplace, that God will prosper them. Ladies and gentlemen, wealth transfers from the marketplace, not the workplace. It's time for us to go get that money, reclaim the seven mountains. Well, thanks. Seven world change, betterworldchangers.com. Definitely go there and learn about the seven mountains. And, um, and click on the change agent tab 
and learn about the change agents and download those two presentations. And I'd like to say, lay the foundation even before that. Begin here tab, walk in your spiritual authority, understand the mountain you're assigned to climb and the image of your marketplace success. Well, ladies and gentlemen, dream big and include others. God bless you. Thanks for stopping by. Blessings to you.